beer gobblers. I'm Nigel. And I wasn't expecting that, but I'm Anders. <laughs> Welcome to the review. Mix it up. You started. Well, why not? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's confuse. Yeah. Let's not worry about it. Let's move on. Welcome. I should have told the, uh, my co-host first. <laughs> Do you know what? I don't think you should. No. <laughs> Thought it. Anyway. Welcome to the review. Um, we're doing something nah, a bit different, but Nigel will elaborate. Go well, on, Nigel. The same, really. Yeah. Uh, we've gone all continental today, and I'm going lagers. And we're, we're pitching a couple of Czech lagers against each other. Both you can get in the supermarkets. Uh, we got I've got these ones in Morrison's. Yeah. Uh, we're going for Budweiser's Budvar. Yep. Not to be mixed up with the American Budweiser. Not at all, no. And you wouldn't, I don't think. No. Um, this one from Prague. Stara Praman, yeah. The very one. It's, um... Both coming in at 5%. Yeah. One's a big bottle, one's a little bottle. So we're going to crack open the little bottle first, I think. Okay. Well, get, get your beer cam up and fired, laddie. It's going to get it into the glass. Yeah, Budweiser Budvar, the original recipe um, for what is known as Budweiser in the US. Uh, what the what the heck the Americans have done with it, I don't know. It's one of the most tasteless beers out there. But this one... Probably why it sells well, though. True. That is just looking glorious. Like a proper lager should. Oh, the smaller bottle comes in just shy of a pint. <clears throat> Not a huge amount of aroma. It's got that... It's not, I must say, it's not the most pleasant. You, you get this with some lagers, that, that dishwater sort of. Are you getting that, are you? I'm it. not getting that with this. I'm getting... Oh, no, it's not. That's harsh. That really is quite harsh, but trying to describe... Yeah. I, I'm just getting malt. Might be malt. That's what it's I'm getting. very light, though. Yeah. Very light. Oh, should we just go in? Chin chin. Cheers. <sighs> that is gorgeous. It is. That is crisp. Um, there is just a hint of floral in there, I'm getting. I've just had a really long, hard day's work. <laughs> That's <laughs> I'm not in beer tasting mode yet. That was just doing what beer does. Just Well, yeah. I, but yeah. it's gorgeous, anyway. It really is. That really does cut through, doesn't it? It's got tons of flavour. Now, there's, there's actually quite a heavy thickness. Not not in a, a, a syrup, syrup sort of way. No. But a heavy bodiedness or thickness on the back end. I it think. really does, doesn't it? Yeah. It, it, it's big. Yes. Bold. Um, and I am getting slightly slightly floral notes in there. I don't know if you'll get in those. But also just the merest hint of citrus. Discuss. I might tune into that. I might. Not yet. I'm getting okay. a good level of bitterness. Uh, oh, yeah. The thing is, this has got flavour. 
really has that against all our popular lagers yeah fosters yeah this is streets ahead in flavor it really is yeah um but well we'll see towards the end could yeah. you drink that all night I, it's a good question and one i think we might answer after a little break see you in a minute well people uh that was quite a quick break um we've had to come back to you quite quickly because it's going down too well uh we have thoughts don't we Nigel, of, of this beer yeah it's it's great it is i love it it has got a heaviness on the back end and although i'm enjoying it now i think i've had multiple beers of this i think that might get a bit heavy okay the heaviness it's almost like a as you said, it's almost like a creaminess, isn't it? it there is almost, yeah, yeah. Um, I am getting that floral hit, Anders was getting, and there is just the slightest hint of citrus buried away in there. Yeah. Um, do you know what? You might be right about having more than one. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I think let's give it a go. Well, having more than one? Yeah. Not now. Not now. No, no, no. I've only got the one. But I'm, I'm saying, saying quite, I could quite easily drink another one now. But I'm saying we've got number three. And if you want to make it a binge, because I think officially a binge is four, or is three a binge now? I don't know. Four must be a binge, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, it seems a lightweight, lightweight for a binge. Days. There's a lot more than that, a binge. But anyway, low, yeah. lower standards nowadays. Anyway. So, well. Um, should move on to the next one then, I dare say, shouldn't we? Yeah. Have you finished yours, sorry, by the way? Yeah. You have, right, okay. So, Star of Brahman. Again, from the Czech Republic. Um, I've had this before, but a long time ago. So, th this will be interesting. I have a suspicion it'll be quality yeah i'm quite used to this one are you okay it was uh it was quite lively oh it is isn't it but yeah anyway a few years ago yes this nige got a for a birthday, got one of these uh, the, uh, bottomless Prosecco brunches. And I took her along to this with uh, it was cocktails as well. I wasn't aware there was such a thing. Uh, yeah, there was a place called Dirty Martini. And so you got lots of different cocktails there, as much Prosecco as you can drink in two hours. Okay. And I was, <sighs> and they said, well, you can have a beer instead, beer instead of your, I thought, oh, and it was these beers. That, that was my first introduction to it. And so I had lots of little bottles of those. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. Well. Um, and I've had it on draft as well before. And equally as nice. But really? Anyway, Never seen it on draft. There's not much odour. Aroma. Oh, I think that's quite similar to the, the last one. It's lighter. It's very faint, but it's... It is faint, yeah. It's much the same. Anyway, going in. Chin yeah. chins. Oh, that's quite a different taste. Ooh. It hasn't got that heaviness at the back end. That that is far more drinkable. It hasn't got the depth of flavour that Bud Bar has. No, it hasn't. No. Oh, I'm just getting. It's got. You getting? Yeah, that ending is a bit weird. It just came up. It, that was quite a delayed ending. That was, yeah, yeah, yeah. That hot, it's a quite. It's a. It's but, a strange ending, isn't it? I like this a lot. <laughs> Do you? Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I've still got Bud Bar in my mouth. I think so. We'll have a couple of sips and see what goes. Oh, isn't that strange? That's I'm getting that 
that thick, creamy heaviness I had with the bud bar. I've got that, but it's pushed a little bit forward, then it just goes, and you get that dry, lingering, long finish. Yeah. And then, bang, you get a little bit of a thing at the end there. Little multi hoppy. Multi thingy going on yes. at the end. Yeah. It just goes on. It's like you've burped after having shreddies. No. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> Not the best stuff. analogy I've come up with, I'll grant you that. <laughs> um, <laughs> Do you know what? I'm not sure what to make of this. I had very high hopes. I, I at this moment, personally, I think I prefer this to Bob Bar. I'm yeah. I'm tempering my expectation for the time being. Yeah. I think we've got a lot of beer to get through, and we got through the first one rather quickly. So this is going to take a while. So we'll get into it, and we'll we'll get back with our. Uh, findings sometimes you are very wise aren't you yes yeah, see you in a bit right well we've had a really long break there we had to because mm, there's a lot of beer and um, also we're talking about exciting things for the future in the channel as well yeah but that's anyway i've i have become to enjoy star of Praman immensely um it's the it's the old story. You've got one beer that's gone down. It's very nice. You start another one. It just tastes different. It take it took me about probably half a glass to get through. Um, and and now I I don't know where I stand on these two. They're both they're well, both put, lovely. Can put this in a little bit of context. I mean, you're not used used to lagers as I no, am. No. And. Uh, before we were recording this channel, we, we used to do these sessions during lockdown, just mm -hmm. tasting beers and things. And we did yeah. a session with two or three lagers. Well, actually, I think it was three or four lagers, actually. And Budwar was the last one we tried, or one of the ones we tried. And it was against Estrella and other... And it was, it was just streaks ahead of her, everything it else. Really? Yeah, it is. And so when we taste, taste it there, with that one to come up, it just shows the quality of of uh, Czech beer. Yeah, as simple I, as that. I, I, you know, I, I've, hmm, yeah, I, I feel a future future program coming from Prague. At some point in the way future, That's we do a, a, an overseas trip, yeah, perhaps. Yeah, yeah. Um, but no, honestly, I I couldn't call the Star of Praman doesn't have any of the floweriness. It doesn't have. There was a hint of citrus in the Budvar. There's me, nothing like that. The finish on that one. I, I'm calling. I, I'm going for the Star of Brahman. That for me, that 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 was a clear winner. I'm and if you're sitting on the fence. We've got a winner. I'm. I, no, yeah. I'm. I'm spearing my nuts and sitting on the fence on it. <laughs> it's, it's um, yeah. It's I. I, I honestly can't call. I can't. Well, we've we've got another uh, 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 Czech lager. We'll, we'll put this one up against it at some point in the future. Okay, but yeah, you're right. If if, if I can't call and you're calling Sarah Praman, then Sarah Praman just nudges it slightly. <coughs> yeah. Anyway, on that bombshell. Yeah, we better nick off. Yeah. Um, thanks for watching, you lot. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that. And until the next time, be good. Bye-bye.